our next task is to look at the attendee list. We have, in some ways, kind of done this. If we look at RDG events, we'll look at this one. We've got attendees. So hypothetically, what we can do, we can put in the attended tick box, and then we could, if they do attend, can go in and tick it like that. So that might actually do for the attendee tick box. Let's mark that one off. And then allowing annual pass holders to sign up. The good thing about this event attendance module is we don't have to worry about discount codes in Eventbrite. All we need to do, if we want a season pass holder to sign up, we simply find them. the name in again, choose the event, and there are RSVP'd. What we might do that would be kind of cool is we could make a custom app, a custom web form. We'd, what we might do Maybe we'd send an email out to all season pass holders when a new event is held. Let's have a go at that. Do it for RDG events. Email annual pass holders when event is on. On create, we will make a custom function. It's always slightly confusing. You'd think that you do dot get RDG event name, but because we've renamed the module, you still, and it's a system field, you still have to use campaign name instead of new module name. What we want to do next is get all of the annual pass holders. do there's a trick we will create a new custom view because it's a bit hard sometimes during days 
that's going to mean if their pass is not up, then we'll put them in there. So we'll put the annual pass end date and start date company number of events attended. Perfect. We can compare that and see this one. This guy has an annual pass and this one doesn't. And as such, you can see as expected that only this one appears in that view. Then what we can do, we can do get records. I believe we can do that. No. Let's just check. So I remember solving this before. 